All right, I, I guess you can see my screen. So as I said on the chat um, earlier, I'll be showing you because when I ask how many of you want to trade, uh, want to know how to trade on PancakeSwap, a lot of person need to get any trade. But before you are able to trade on PancakeSwap, you need one of these decentralized uh, wallets to be able to do that. And the reason why I want to show you how to install Metamax is because with Metamax, you can actually add every other network into it. You can add the Polygon network into it. You can add the Binance Matching network into it. You can add um, which other network again. Um, just think of it, you can add all of these networks into Metamask and use it to link up with all of these exchanges, um, these decentralized exchanges and able to trade with it. You know, when it comes to trading crypto right now, when we talk about DeFi, if you have been hearing of DeFi, DeFi, DeFi stands for decentralized finance. And the way this DeFi is implemented, like the one Binance is doing with Bank so Binance has no control over what happens in, with your, you know, Binance wallet, your Binance decentralized wallet. If you lost your password today, or you are not able to get your free key, you, there is no support where you can write to support that you want to change your password, or you want to change your email. Okay, so th this one that has to do with the centralized finance, all these decentralized exchanges and the rest, you are fully in control of it. Okay, there is no third party that will tell you there are no KYC or any stuff, any related verification. So you just install it, um, just put your uh, phrase key very safe and you are good to go. So before you can be able to trade on decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap, like Uniswap, um, CherrySwap, and a lot of them out there that you can never think of. You need a decentralized wallet. And Metamask serves as a general wallet for all of this platform because with them, with Metamask, you can add all other network into it. Um, by default, it was actually based on the Ethereum network. Um, when you install it, for instance, if you want to use the Ethereum network to carry a transaction like buying, or Uniswap and the rest, it costs a lot. So the reason why you need to add other networks into it is because you want to you know, do these things at no fee. So that is all I will be showing you um, in today's uh, meeting. Uh, we'll be doing this on the desktop. I'm doing this on the desktop. You can equally do this on the app. Just follow the step-by-step -step that you are good to go. I will show you how to do that if you want to install it on your phone and the rest. For those of you who don't have access to desktop or the laptop. So what you want to do is to go to your browser. There is a station for each of the browser, any browser you are using. Just type Metamask extension, okay? When you go to your browser, you type Metamask extension. And when you type Metamask extension, you see I am using Chrome. So the first option here is a Chrome extension. So I'll go ahead and click on this first option. And when I click on it, this is how it looks like, okay? So once you're on this page, you just go ahead and click on Add to Chrome. So I just go ahead, in your own case, it will be on your browser, so or whatever browser you're using. I just say Add to Chrome, and it will say Add Extension. I'll go ahead and confirm that and click on Add Extension. So it will first download it, and after that, it automatically install the, the, the extension on your browser for you, okay? So we'll just wait for it. After downloading, it will automatically install it then we'll go through the process of setting it up. And then while that is downloading, um, there is a video here when you come to the MetaMask extension or server browser you're using, you always see a video here that will show you or you know, walk you through how to do that. But I guess with what I'm gonna show you today, you don't really need to you know, do all of that. So these are all related videos that are showing up here. So that is still downloading, let it download. And MetaMask is um, a bit heavier. So, okay, so it's adding that to the Chrome. Um, it's being added to our Chrome. So let's wait for that to complete. And that is it. So it has been added successfully to our, uh, all right. So you can see here MetaMask has been added to Chrome. So all we just need to do now, um, first, you will see this icon here that you are looking at here. The icon you are looking at here is um, the icon that serves as your extension, your browser extension. 
all of the extensions you've added to your browser, it will all be showing up here. But we want it to be showing, we want this extension, the MetaMask extension we just added to be showing up here. So we'll go ahead and click on this to review the extension. So here on the extension, we'll go ahead and click on this icon that says pin. So this is a pin icon here. We'll just go ahead and click on pin. So once we pin it, you will see it here. Next time, we don't need to come and click here to be able to access our, our MetaMask. We we'll just have it here, okay? So once I click on the MetaMask here, wallet here, it goes ahead and open up. So once, once you open up on a new tab, we want to set it up, okay? So just pay attention to this guide and to set it up, you could just click on get started. And once you click on get started, it gives you two options. One is to import a wallet. That is, if you already set up a MetaMask, let's say for instance, you, is, you have set up MetaMask already on your browser and all of a sudden you mistakenly remove this extension. Whenever you want to come in, you, it will not give you access to login with a password. It will give you access to create a new password by importing this phrase key. Okay, this phrase key is what will give you access to your money. If you have money on your MetaMask and for any reason you delete the MetaMask or you remove it from your browser, then when you come back and you don't have access to that phrase key, that money is gone and gone forever. Okay, that money is gone and gone forever. So make sure that the phrase key that you are going to be generating, you are going to save it very well and secure. You don't share with anybody because if you do, whoever has access to it will actually, you know, uh, have access to your phones as well, okay? So in this case, if you have a, a, a wallet already, you just import your wallet, but we don't have a wallet. Let me assume we don't have a wallet. We are going to create a new wallet. So I just click on create a new wallet and it will give you all of this um, instruction, always allow you to opt out via settings, you know. So it gives you all of this. At the end of the day, what you need to do is just to click on I agree. So once you go through the readings, you click on I agree. And after you click on I agree, it will give you option to create a password, okay? So we are going to create a password. I'll just go ahead and create a password for myself. Uh, I think I have details here. So I'll go ahead and create a password for myself. And after I'm creating my password, I'll go ahead and click on I have read. You can go ahead and look at the terms uh, of use, but uh, just click and check this, I have read and click on create. And uh, when you create, it will generate your pass, uh, your, you know, your phrase key. Um, let me just go ahead <laughs> because there's no way I can blur this. So I'll just go ahead and show you how to do this. Um, so once you click, put in your password, you go ahead and click on create. All right, so now that I click on create, it says secure your wallet. And before that is letting you know to watch this video. Um, so go ahead and see the video if you want, but I just go ahead and click on next. And when I click on next, you can see that I, I, I will need to click here to review my, my secret, uh, you know, key. Um, so, uh, you know, the secret key is what I need on the next stage, actually. I need the secret key on the next stage. So I just go ahead and click on review. Please close your eye from my secret key, okay? Don't attempt to copy the secret key. So this is what I need. I'll go ahead and, you know, copy it out and, after I copy it out, the next thing is to go ahead and click on next. And when I click on next, these are all the secret keys. So I'm going to add them on this box according to how it was given to me, okay? So um, the first one, the second one, the third one, that is how I'm going to arrange it, okay? So I'll just go ahead and do that quickly. So if you do that correctly, once you click on confirm, you should be able to go through. All right, so now it, it, it went through because I arranged it serially, okay? Um, congratulations, my wallet has been created and all I need to do now is just to click on all done. And, uh, you know, just follow the on-screen instruction. So just go ahead, if you want, you can read all of these details that are showing you, but I'm okay with that. So that is it, your wallet has been created, okay? With this single wallet you are seeing here right now, I can, you know, house any kind of crypto that I want to, okay? Depending on the platform I want to be trading with, um, USDT, USDC, um, BUSD, everything can be housed here. But by default, the network that the MetaMask comes with is the Ethereum network. And 
you will bear me witness that if you want to transact with Ethereum network, let's say you want to buy a token that has that is related to ETH, it will cost you a lot. Even when you're buying, when the cost of that particular token is ten dollars, it will cost you more than two hundred dollars to carry out that transaction. That is how um, heavy uh, you know the Ethereum transaction is. So in this case, to make sure that you carry out some of this transaction at a very low, you know, low price at the rest. You want to add some of this network to your MetaMax, okay? So if I come in here and click on the MetaMax here, you'll see that we have our wallet. If I copy this wallet and send to you, if you send money, I'll always receive it here, okay? Um, so the Ethereum mainnet is what we have here right now. So this is the only network we have here. And there are two ways you can actually add additional network to this. If, for instance, if I want to use Binance and I don't want to install Binance differently as a separate uh, wallet, okay? All I just need to do is to come in here to say add network. And when I click on add network, these are the details that is required from you. For instance, if you want to add um, your Binance matching network, these are all of, you are going to fill all of these and add up the network. But what I can do here is I'll just come in here and type in here package swap. Package swap, yeah. All right, so now we know that the package swap, to be able to trade on package swap, you need uh, your Binance Smart Chain network uh, wallet, okay? To be able to trade on package swap, you need your Binance Smart Chain wallet. And that is not added on our MetaMax yet. Okay, we only have the Ethereum mainnet, main which is what we have here right now. So once we click on the MetaMax here, um, if it opens up, you see that it's only the Ethereum mainnet that we have. So if I go ahead and click on this connect wallet, it gives us the option of connecting. These are all of the different types of wallet you can connect here. So if I go ahead and select my bind and my MetaMax, let me just go ahead and connect that. Um, I'll go ahead and click on next and then click on connect. It will be connected. And here you see that it's complaining that the network details for this chain do not uh, match their record. And that is because what I have is a Terra mainnet, okay? So the Binance is not added there. So all I just need to do, because I am on package swap, I just go ahead and click on approve and then click on switch network, okay? So I just go ahead and click on switch network and that has been connected successfully. If I come in back, come back here to MetaMax. So you see that Binance Smart Chain mainnet has been added to our wallet. So if I click here, we now have the Ethereum mainnet and then we have the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, okay? So with this, I can send my Binance, my BNB to this wallet and I can trade on package swap and trade on Uniswap. Now, when you go to Uniswap, if I go to Uniswap, here on Uniswap, if I go ahead and click on launch um, app, if I launch the app here, I, I wouldn't have issue because on Uniswap is um, based on the Ethereum network. So if I connect my wallet to the Uniswap platform, okay? So if I go ahead and click on connect wallet, okay? So because it is Ethereum we have here, if you if it is Polygon, you want to connect. If you have the Polygon network and the rest, you go ahead. But since we already have as, uh, Ethereum as default on the MetaMask, if I go ahead and click on wallet and click on MetaMask, it will just connect with that issue, okay? I just go ahead and click on next and click on connect and that is connected successfully with that um, issue. Okay, now we are having um, a wrong network. It says support, click on um, connect support network. That is because already on the MetaMax here, we have changed it from Ethereum mainnet to what? To Binance Smart Chain. So if I'm doing that on Uniswap, I want to change it from this Binance Smart Chain to main, Ethereum mainnet. So once I do, you see that the error goes off and automatically it connects, okay? If I come back to package swap, um, package swap, if I come back to package swap again, it has been disconnected here. So when I want to connect here, I will still need to, you know, switch this back to the Binance Smart Chain. Okay. So this at all the Uniswap is on a different network. Um, this is on a different network. Now it's complaining. 
So I'll just need to switch the network to Binance and it will connect here successfully, okay? So when you want to trade here, you can switch just using only uh, MetaMax, okay? Because if you want to install Binance separate, uh, the Binance Smart Chain wallet separate, install MetaMask separate, you have conflicting um, freeze key. And whenever you want to recover these things, you'll be confused. So you don't need to play with all of this. So with MetaMask alone, you can use it um, to actually trade. Now to take care of fees on this platform, to take care of high fees, for instance, if you go to OpenSea and, and you want to, let's say, list your, your NFTs for sale, if you only have the Ethereum network, you are going to pay a very high fee, okay? But if you set your NFTs on the Polygon network, you can list them for almost free. So the next thing we want to do is to add the Polygon network to our wallet. And to do that, I'm going to do that on Uniswap. So if I come in here to Uniswap, here where it says Ethereum, instead of using Ethereum, I'll go ahead and click on it and select Polygon, okay? So once I select Polygon, I'll go ahead, it says wrong network. Um, let me just uh, disconnect this. So now we are on the Ethereum network, okay? And we are connected successfully. Now, if you want to add Polygon, because on Uniswap here, we can add Polygon directly to our MetaMask. If you want to add Polygon network to the MetaMask, here where it says Ethereum, okay, you click on it, Already it is connected with the Ethereum network. So I'll click on it and then select Polygon, okay? So if I go ahead and click on select Polygon, MetaMask will pop up. When MetaMask pops up, automatically it wants us to approve this. So we just go ahead and click on approve and then click on switch network. So automatically the Polygon network will be added to a MetaMask wallet. If I come in here and click on MetaMask again, so here you see that we have added another wallet, another network to it. Um, which is the Polygon. So we now have Ethereum mainnet, we have Polygon, and then we have the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, okay? And any other wallet, is there any other wallet that you can think of, any other network that you can think of we can add to this? Majorly, um, these are like the three uh, most popular that you can ever think of. Maybe you want to trade on OpenSea, on Swap, on Uniswap, you can add all of this. And here on the Uniswap exchange, you, you, if I click here again, aside Ethereum and Polygon, there is another one called this uh, Optimism, and there is another one called this Arbit Arbitrum also. So if I click on it, it will pop up again. So you, you, it all depends, you automatically just go ahead and click on Approve, and then add this uh, network to, you know, to your, to your MetaMask. So if I just click on Approve and switch network, if I go back to MetaMask again, you will see that we have been able to add another um, network to it, which is the Arbitrum. If I want to add the last one here on Uniswap, um, the last one here is uh, Optimism. So if I switch to Optimism, automatically MetaMask pops up and we just go ahead and click on Approve and then switch network, okay? So if I click on MetaMask again, you see that I've been able to add, you know, Ethereum, add uh, all of this network here. If I come in there to Uniswap, I can trade with the Ethereum, I can trade uh, with the Ethereum network, I can trade with the Polygon network, I can trade with all of these networks that are supported here, okay? If I go to PancakeSwap as well, I can easily trade with all of the network that, you know, PancakeSwap, um, but currently PancakeSwap only supports the Binance Matching Network, okay? And you, all of this, I can do it using only my MetaMask. I don't need Polygon network installed separately, I don't need uh, Binance Smart Chain is stored separately. I don't need all of these things is stored separately, okay? And if you want to install another one, if I want to add another one, there is this one called KCC. Um, let me just, yeah, KCC wallet. This is owned by KuCoin. KuCoin is the owner of this um, KCC wallet, okay? They equally have their own wallet. You can install their own wallet as an individual uh, decentralized wallet on your, uh, on your browser, okay? But if I don't want to install it on my browser, all I just need to do is to go ahead and if I come in here to, okay, so you see, you can add all of this on your phone, on your iPhone, your Android, your Chrome browser, you know, your web wallet and the rest and, and so on. Um, I think there is actually where they will show you um, where to add it manually. Okay, 
yes, this is how to add it manually. So if I click on this, it gives you a guide to add it on manually. And um, so this is what we need to add it up manually to our Metamask wallet, okay? Every network you want to add up to your Metamask wallet has all of these details, okay? So if I click on Metamask here, if I click on Metamask and I go to this network option here and I click on add network, it will pop up on a new tab, okay? When it pops up on a new tab, we need the network name, we need the um, P, arrow PC URL and the rest. So here, this is the network name, okay? I can just copy this. This is how you manually add a network to your Metamask. I copy it and paste. And then the chain ID is this, copy it. If I come back to Metamask, what is the chain ID here? Paste it. And then here is your, the symbol will be this key, which is the native token of KuCoin. So the symbol, where is the symbol? Where do we have, okay, currency symbol is here. And then the next one is this uh, URL here. So I'll go ahead and copy the R, R PC URL or something. So I'll come in here and then paste the URL here. Then the blockchain URL will be this one. Copy it and then paste that one here, okay? So once you paste in all of these details, go ahead and click on save. And that has equally been added to our Metamask wallet. Meaning that with just this one Metamask wallet, I can hold multiple coins. I can hold my KuCoin native token here uh, using the KuCoin, the KCC mainnet. I can hold all of this network, every token related to all of this network, I can hold them all on my Metamask with just only one Metamask, okay? So this is how you set up your Metamask. Uh, make sure once again that your phrase key are saved, okay? Somewhere you saved your phrase key somewhere. Don't give it to anybody. If anybody has access to it, they have access to your phones. And if you lost your phrase key, you, you have lost the amount of money, whatever it is that you have here, okay? So make sure that you save your money somewhere and you don't temper with it. Uh, your phrase key, make sure you save your phrase key very, um, somewhere and you don't temper with it, okay? So if I want to send and receive money, all I just need to do is to click on this wallet. Once I click on it, it copies that address. So if I send this address to you now and you send any coin that is related to the um, KuCoin network, um, automatically I receive it here, okay? If you send me the KuCoin native token, I receive it here. If I want to receive um, Ethereum, any uh, token related to Ethereum, and I copy here, just copy, I can just send to you and you receive it. If you have a Ethereum here and you want to send to somebody, just click on this send and you know you paste the person's address here. You just go ahead and click on the send and you send it to the person. Now, if you want to add this to your phone, the same thing applies, okay? Um, if, if you want to add this to your phone, once you download the Metamask wallet, either from your App Store or your Play Store, all you just need to do this time around, you are using the import wallet option. So when you use the import wallet option, all you just need to do is this wallet, this uh, phrase key that you have already, just type into your, to your, you know, type it to your, in the app, if you have the app on your phone, type the phrase key there and then create a password for yourself, okay? So the password you can be using to access your Metamask wallet on your phone, just create it, and then the one on the browser, create it. Uh, but use the same phrase key to assess it and you are good to go. You can have access to all of your phones. Even when the passwords are different, you can still have access to all of your phones, uh, no matter what. So the same process that I showed you in setting up this MetaMask wallet, the same process you will use on the phone, okay? So on the phone, when you download the app to your phone and you just click on um, create a new wallet, you'll be asked to create a password. After creating a password, a phrase key will be generated for you and you'll be asked to save the phrase key somewhere. It won't allow you to screenshot it, okay? You will not be allowed to screenshot it. So you need to copy it one after the other. After that, you write it down, you type it back to you, to where the option, just like I showed you here, and you are good to go. So with that, if you open up package swap on your phone, on um, in this case, um, maybe you want to use package swap, you just use Trust Wallet, okay? You can just download Trust Wallet and then link up Trust Wallet to your package swap and the rest. Or if you want to use Uniswap, you just download MetaMask and you can manually um, just link it up with your Uniswap. So the process I showed you here, just follow it 
and you'll be able to set it up, set it up on your phone. That is what all these things I'm doubling um, simply means. It means that you can easily set up this sir, please, on your you phone. Volume, sir. Okay. Volume, so, sir. You're not hearing me. Yes, sir. It's not that loud, sir. Um, okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry if you didn't hear me loud, okay? So basically that is it on how to set up the Metamax wallet. Do you have any question up to this extent? Any question as regarding setting your wallet with your you know, Metamax wallet and adding different networks to it? Yeah, I came late though. I hope the video is gonna be um, put on YouTube, please. Yes, yes, I'll publish, okay. a, I'll publish a video and share with you all, okay? Sorry all right, thank you. Yeah. yeah, thank you, thank all you. Right. Any other question?